Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So what we're going to be doing in today's video is we're going to be finding the area and perimeter of a regular heptagon. So a heptagon is just a seven-sided shape. A regular heptagon means that all seven sides of that shape are equal. So since it says that we have three inches on this side, that means that this is three inches over here three inches, three inches, and you probably guessed it, three inches, three inches, and then lastly, three more inches. So everything's exactly the same. All seven sides are equal. So the area equation, which would be how much area we have in shaded in green inside of the shape, is a little complex for a regular heptagon, but don't worry, I will make it easier for you. So the total area equation for a heptagon would be this, and don't freak out because I'm about to make it so much easier. It'd be seven divided by four, multiplied by the cotangent of 180 degrees divided by seven, and then multiplied by S squared. So don't worry about that equation, I'm about to make it so much easier for you. So first off, S. S is just your length of one of your sides. So in this case, since they're all equal, we would just put three inches in there. Now, the remaining portion right here, since it is a constant value, we can simplify this down to make this equation so much easier. So this area for a regular heptagon just becomes this, 3.634 times S times S. Well, since our 3 inches is our S, we would just plug that in. So we would have 3.634, which, let me back up here real quick here, this 3.634 is all this junk right here. So it will always be 3.634 regardless of whatever your side is. So if your side is 6 centimeters, you would still use 3.634. So this would be 3.634 times my side of 3 inches times my side of 3 inches. And this gives me a total area in green for this heptagon of 32.71 inches squared. Keeping in mind that you must have the squared units because squared units let you know you are dealing with an area. All right, so that's the area checked off. The perimeter is much easier. The perimeter is just a fancy way of saying how long or how much distance does it take to get all the way around your object. Well, you basically just add up all your sides. Well, since we have seven sides here, you would just add three inches seven times to get the total length of the perimeter. And there is also another easier way to do this, and I'm going to show you after I write out the long way here. So I have six threes, and now I need one more three. So I have seven threes in total. So seven threes all added together gives me 21 inches in length for my perimeter. Or you could write it like this for your perimeter. Since all the sides are exactly three inches and we have seven of them, we can just take seven times my side of three inches, seven for how many sides we have, three inches for them all being the same, and we end up with 21 inches here. Keeping in mind your perimeter has to match the same units that you started with since this is a distance parameter of three inches and your perimeter is also a distance unit. So you would need to match that with inches. And that's how you would find the area and perimeter of a regular heptagon, which is a seven-sided shape with all sides being equal in length. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more problem solvers already, please check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel because all that does help us out. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.